decodingtheantichrist.com. You have to get it and go to Amazon or other places, I'm sure. But make sure that you get this book. Why? Because we need to understand what we are looking for. We need to understand, we need to have a picture of that in our minds, and I hope you'll do that. And, and uh, Pastor Mark uh, uh, Belts is with us, and Pastor, thank you for being with the program. And, well, thank you so much, Dan. And thank you for writing this book. What some great insights um, that, that you pull from God's Word uh, about the Antichrist. Tell us what motivated you to, to write uh, about this. Well, I have been uh, studying Solomon's behavior for almost 30 to 40 years, and everything I'd heard was talking about how he was so wise and such a great guy. But I realized, man, this is why the world is going to be deceived. The church is going to be deceived because his behavior was horrible. Hmm. You know, and our behavior is so important. Those listening understand that I, I spend my time in my analytics on behavior. Uh, and if we understand behavior, we're able to recognize certain things, aren't we? Oh, you bet. That's, uh, yeah, for sure. And, and it's so key that we can do that, that we can recognize um, who this person is or going to be. If we're still here, hopefully, um, hopefully we're, we're uh, gone tonight would be good. But uh, it'll be interesting. But I'm sure that's got uh, plays such a key role is to understand what the enemy looks like. Definitely. And the way I see it, it's a system of legalized lawlessness. Look where we're at today with governments legalizing all kinds of lawlessness. Yeah, what a, what a great, great point. And um, legalizing, you know, the, this notion that if it's legal, then surely it must be moral, um, yeah. that it must yeah, be okay. Uh, like the New York abortion law that they just uh, passed. Yeah. You know, I, I uh, used to tell my children growing up that the will of the majority is not necessarily the will of God. <laughs> you know, the, the kids, kids would say, well, everybody, dad, everybody's going, everybody's doing it, you know, and they hated it when I said that. But um, it's so true, isn't it? I mean, it's... yeah, definitely. As a matter of fact, in, I believe in Deuteronomy, it says you are not to follow uh, the majority of the people when it goes against God's laws. Mm. You know, too many Christians, I, I, you know, I, I believe, too many Christians, they get caught up with the person that is predicting the day and the time and, and all of that, uh, of uh, the events. We know how the story ends, and we know what events are going to unfold, and they get caught up in trying uh, to predict all of that and not caught up enough trying to uh, be in this recognition and this behavior. Uh, so true. So true. People get caught up in trying to decide what, when things are going to uh, happen or who the Antichrist might be. But to me, we need to profile what the behavior is uh, so we won't be deceived. Mm. So what does the Bible say about the, the uh, tactics and the, and the uh, you know, motivations and the things that, that are going to uh, give us some clues to that profiling? Well, the most important thing is the Ecclesiastes 1.9, where the Bible says basically there's nothing new under the sun. That which has happened is that which will happen again. And when we study the book of Esther with Haman, who was a type of Antichrist, his whole goal was annihilation. And, uh, but they had to create a law to uh, allow genocide. Uh, and then when we study Hanukkah, that's all about assimilation. Uh, those are two sides of the Antichrist, annihilation, and then comes assimilation. But history always repeats itself. So Hitler was a type of Antichrist or a type of Haman wanting to annihilate the Jews. And then what follows is assimilation. We're now uh, like Chrislam. It's a merging of uh, religions. We all need, just need to coexist. So the Antichrist, some say he'll be a Jew. Some say he'll be Muslim. Some say he'll, he'll be a uh, atheist or a professing Christian. Does the Bible give us any insights to that? 
Well, I think it's quite fascinating. Uh, John says in his epistles that there were many antichrists in his day. So first thing we need to understand is it's not just a person, it's a whole system and many people. But then the most startling thing is he says they came out from among us. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that Satan comes as an angel of light. So I believe there's a good chance the Christian or the antichrist could come across as a professing Christian. Wow. You know, one of the things I loved about your book and I found fascinating was the Antichrist working through this thing that we love so much, technology, and working in and through that. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I find it fascinating. It's all about manipulation and control. And when I look at China and what they're doing through social media, uh, this new 5G network uh, that allows self-autonomous drones to fire missiles with facial recognition, you know, on their own. And uh, we look at all the way we're being tracked uh, through our phones. Uh, to me, this isn't... Uh, you know, some craziness. We have on our website a link or a page that links to all the artificial intelligence that's going on now with all their capability of how we can be surveilled. And that website is... is a, Yeah. Is, is what? The... Um, El Shaddai Ministries. El Shaddai. Yep. El Shaddai Ministries. Or just Google my name, Mark Belts, and El Shaddai Ministries will come up. But I can back everything up. And, and you back it up on the website, you back it up, you talk about uh, backing that up throughout the book. That's why this is such an important book for us to have. It's an important book that we have, we give to our children and anybody that we, that, that has an understanding of how the story ends, that we want to help them be in a kind of recognition of how the Antichrist or the system of the Antichrist is going to work. Yeah, most surely, because that, like the ring door camera that where well, you can look and see who's at your door. But now they have whole neighborhoods that are watching anyone who comes through the neighborhood, which could be a good thing. But if it gets hacked, then anybody can know when you come home, when you leave uh, with a Fitbit watch. They know what time you go to bed. Uh, things are being hacked, and if not hacked, they're just being given away to the government. Like uh, your DNA at these DNA websites, they're giving uh, access to the police for all of your DNA. Mm. The name of the books, folks, the book is uh, anti. The name of the book is Decoding the Antichrist and, and the End Times. Decoding the Antichrist and the End Times. And, you know, it's that uh, decoding that, believe it or not, if we know what we are viewing, what we are looking for, what are some of the symptoms of the, the uh, <laughs> disease, so to speak, you know, we can get a better idea of how it is going to destroy as a, you know, a, a, a soldier, as a, as a veteran, you know, knowing the enemy certainly is a big part of trying to predict its movements, certainly. So we always should know what is around us. And, you know, God has used technology for some wonderful, wonderful things. I mean, we are seeing uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ reaching people around the globe that they never reach without technology, but it's also going to be the instrument, possibly, likely, of the Antichrist. Oh, most definitely. Everything has two sides to it, and uh, technology definitely does. Mark, uh, you know, it was obvious to me, uh, Pastor, as we went through, as I went through the book, that, you know, you spent a lot of time researching and, and, and backing all this up. And I, and I felt, um, I'm, I'm glad that you try, didn't try, didn't force going somewhere of it's going to be, you know, March 5th, 2022, right. that, you know, the Antichrist is going to reveal himself or the system. Uh, because that's not really... Biblical, is it? 
No, it's not right at all. I don't think we should ever be setting dates, but I do believe we're supposed to know the times and the seasons, uh, and we need to understand what's going on around us so we can uh, properly react. Are we in a season that we need to be concerned about? I definitely believe we're in the times and the seasons uh, where we can easily be deceived, which is why we need to be watching. The Bible says that we're to be watching and on guard. But for me, it's not just it's it's about the people I love uh, and and it's about the body of the Messiah. I I believe much of the body of Messiah, as we see what's going on uh, in the church, uh, are are being deceived and, and we need to wake up. Many people don't even talk about the book of Revelation. It, it is so true, uh, Pastor. It's one of my biggest frustrations that I talk about. You know, so much has to be done. So much work has to be done from the pulpit that isn't getting done either. And, um, you know, folks, we need to get this book, Decoding the Antichrist. You can go to, to decodingtheantichrist.com. You can go to El Shaddai Ministries. You can look up or Google uh, Pastor Mark Belt B I L T Z and get to the website. You can go to Amazon. You can buy this book. I guess through anywhere, right, Mark? Yes, yes, Any, anywhere. So um, I hope that you will pick up a copy. I was uh, privileged to get a copy and uh, uh, electronic copy that I didn't have to pay for. So, uh, but you know, it is well worth it, and you need to buy. I'm telling you, you're going to be sorry you didn't buy at least two so that you can keep one and give one away and have that person give it away as well. Decodingtheantichrist.com. Pastor Mark Belts, uh, El Shaddai Ministries. Pastor Mark, we sure appreciate you. I'd love to have you back again uh, in the next few weeks and talk about uh, more of this, if that's Thank okay you, with you. Dan. Thank you, Dan. Love it. Great. Thank you, Mark. Sure appreciate it. God bless you and your work. Folks, we'll be right back after this.